Here, Jimmy, let's get right to it. There is something going on that you seem to have put your finger on, uh, especially with some of the traditional news media that guys like you and I grew up watching, you know, the CNNs. You know, I was on it, you know, CNN, MSNBC, NBC, CBS, all these guys who somehow have changed in the last couple of years, especially. What's going on with them? Well, I have a theory that, you know, Donald Trump uh, excites the lizard brain in a lot of the people in the corporate news. And so then their critical thinking skills go right out the window. Now, you know, I oppose Donald Trump's policies as much as anybody, but I won't allow him to steal my critical thinking skills. And that's exactly what has happened. The undoing of some of the smartest people in corporate news, like Rachel Maddow. Rachel Maddow has been reduced to an Alex Jones level conspiracy theorist. As she, and what happened, what, 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 what makes you a, 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 a dangerous conspiracy theorist is when you start at a conclusion and then you start to find the facts to back it up. And that's what's been happening at not only MSNBC, but CNN and anybody re reporting on Donald Trump, right? And it seems to be that it, there's a double standard. Well, it doesn't seem to be. There is a double standard, right? So if, I'll give you one example, right? So when Donald Trump went after that Gold Star family during the campaign, ubiquitously in, in the media, people were outraged, and rightfully so. Well, right now, NBC News and MSNBC is mounting a 100% a untrue smear and propaganda campaign against a veteran uh, who served two tours and was a major in our military, served two tours in Iraq, and is now a congresswoman. Gabbard. They are running one of the worst McCarthyite smears I've ever seen in my life against Tulsi Gabbard. Right mm -hmm. now, that's happening. And they're basing it all on, a, on this group called New Knowledge, who says that Russian bots are propping her up. They got caught, new knowledge, got caught inventing Russian bots mm -hmm. in the Alabama el election with Roy Moore. They got kicked off Facebook, they're so discredited, but NBC News still uses them as their source to smear Tulsi Gabbard. Why? Because she tells the truth about war. And that's what you'll never get on corporate news media in the United States. They'll never tell you the truth about war. They're for every war. And here's how you can tell how uh, there's some propaganda coming. Because when I, when I started paying attention, it was Saddam Hussein and they would always say Saddam's a bad guy and Saddam oppresses his own people so if you agree with that now you have to do something about it they did they said that about Muammar Gaddafi he's a bad guy he oppresses his own people oh I got Assad he's a bad guy he, so now they're saying it in Venezuela he's a bad guy hey show me one country where there isn't a bad guy they're protesting yeah. with, uh, in Macron right now in France for 13 weeks straight they're gassing their own people what's going on there should we invade France oh that's right they don't have a lot of oil so we're not going to invade France and free their people. So that's what's going on in the news media right now. Trump excites their lizard brains. Their critical thinking skills go out the window, and they're all pushing war. Trump wanted to pull out of Syria and MSNBC and CNN. Oh, my God, we have to stay in another foreign war. And you know who doesn't want to stay? The American people. Am I the reason you get stoned every week now? Build up integrity, got you texting, emailing me, wanting me to feel with you, baby. Just face reality, move on. Sometimes it's hard to face reality.